welcome to another episode of an incredible talk show brought to you by the Indian Football Portal. Today, I am pleased to have Mr. Manandit Singh with me. Manandit Singh is a former India international, ISL and I-League player. He has played for Pailan Arrows, Air India, East Bengal, Delhi Dynamos, Kerala Blasters, Salgaukar, Minerva Punjab and Mohanbag. He has also represented India at India under 16 level, under 19 level and under 23 level, in addition to the senior national team. Manandip is a Federation Cup winner with East Bengal and Nehru Cup and the Indian National. He has also won the FPAI Young Player of the Year. He retired early and is now a fitness enthusiast, actor and model. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? All good. All good. So, I would like to hand it over to Ryan now to carry on with the interview. Great. I'm, I'm delighted that we've got a striker who's made a name very, very early in the game and uh, achieved a lot and then decided to go into another line completely. So, as we progress with the interview, we'll get to know a lot about uh, Mr. Manandeep Singh. So, uh, let's start off then. Uh, Manandeep, you made a name as a for yourself very, very early in the game as a young striker and showcased your skills to the world with uh, Pailan Arrows, which is currently Indian Arrows. Now, before that, when and how did you start playing football and which clubs and academies were you a part of before you joined uh, Pailan Arrows? Well, I didn't go to any academies, to be honest. All I started with, a, you know, just, just a ground and in a town called Hisar. And we had very, very less amenities. And we, I just played the under-14 India, in, uh, under-14 national in Chandigarh. I represented Haryana. That's where I was selected for the uh, under-14 Indian team. And after that, I played under-15, 16, every... Uh, every uh, India of the juniors till under 19 in the Olympic qualifier team and uh, I didn't come I didn't come from any academies to be honest it was just the India camps and before that it was just us the boys and uh, uh, I I hope I had academies but uh, unfortunately I didn't have any academies that's all and you can say that there was a coach uh, who was who wasn't a you know, designated coach or a government official coach, but he was, uh, you can say, an old man, uh, really passionate about the game. So we used to water our fields, we used to take care of our ground, and it was a college ground. And all the boys used to come and play over there. And I think I've been very, very fortunate to come out of that ground and to play for all the clubs and India. That's all. Well, with the career that you've had, it doesn't seem like you've lost a lot not being in a formal academy for sure. And then you went on to play for two very, very reputed clubs in the I-League, which is Air India and Salgaukar, real historic clubs. Now, um, today, neither of them are in the I-League. Of course, one is because of the commercial entity law and the other because they just decided not to field a team. So, how fatal do you think it is not having these two teams in the current I-League? I think it's 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 a it's a backdrop for the the boys who really want a stage to prove i guess because if you see that there were like 16 or 14 teams in the i league and there was like a long tournament where of a, where you play all the matches and we used to play like with air india and east bengal with the federation cup and with the, with the ifa shield we used to play almost 40 45 matches even even the kolkata league but if you take out these clubs, you know, even even ONGC was there. If you take out these clubs, you're taking opportunities for young boys to prove because everyone's not going to play ISL. Everyone's not going to play the I-League I and I-League have only nine clubs and very, very limited. And I think it's it's a very, very, you know, loss to the Indian football because I don't think if, uh, if I didn't go to Air India, I wouldn't have performed. Because I didn't have the stage to uh, stage to perform, so I I think like AF, AFF should bring something out of it because it's okay you, they they can't afford the AFC criteria or something like that. But they're bringing up a team, they they you know managing a team, they're be, paying decent wages to the uh, team. But more importantly, they're giving matches to the young players. You know, if you if you see if you as a, as a striker, I feel I feel very 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 bad because. After after Sunil Bhai, there's 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 no striker, there's no number nine India team has, and and because because not we we don't have players, we have players, but they're not playing, and if the player is not playing, he's lose he he's losing his confidence. 
so i think like you know these these clubs and all the clubs should be added the i league teams should be if you can't increase the isl teams at least try to improve increase the i league teams really really well well said well explained and we hope one day such teams do come back now you know you have had a dream career you have been with the senior national team that's internationally but even domestically you have had the dream that every player has which is to play kolkata football and not 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 just have you played for one club you have played for both east bengal and mohan bagan now everybody knows how crazy the fans are over there and how they expect how they feel that you know you're not a human being so psychologically how did you deal with the pressure and especially you being a being a number 9 because i'm sure they must have thought that manandeep is here he's done so well now he's going to score a hat trick in every match so psychologically how did you deal with it and what was the experience like playing for both the clubs well let me add to that i have played for mohammedan sporting also i have scored for them i played a kolkata league with them so i played wow. all clubs and i think all the fans from three different clubs are really really different but all in all they have the same mentality to win they they want to go home with like you know five nil every game and that is that doesn't happen i'm sorry but as a, as a player i think uh, when you when you keep playing because um, i think fans know like this guy has you know done the hard work he was he was working on the field you know that's that's a, that's a good sign and then fans cheer you if you getting substituted they don't boo you and but, but there is a psychological you know pressure to perform but i, I mean that, that's that's football and that's the beauty of playing football that's the beauty of playing the derby and uh, there you you can say uh, the the real footballers the real fighters are made in that in that game um, and to be honest all the derbies all over the world the football is really less it's just the aggression it's just the fans and it's it just you know the will to play the that makes a game beautiful and i, I don't think so there's there's there's, a, uh, there's much pressure on that psychological but if you take pressure but it is a pressure game but you can't take take that to your head it just you have to perform and everyone's happy you happy your team is happy and the fan obviously are happy so perhaps ignorance is bliss when you're playing at clubs where where it is high pressure yes that's for yeah. sure now just just enjoy it you know yeah you're not going to get it back you you any you play anywhere in the in india you know going to you're not going to you're not going to get this love so just take it as love it's okay we we get uh, we get angry too when we lose so it's it's the part of the game right right you went to uh, rangajed united it was you and sandesh jingan who were to- who were prospects in fact at that time you were quite a, probably had a much higher reputation than sandesh jingan at that point of time and you guys joined the dressing room with uh, subroto paul and gaurangi singh and tomba singh so what was it like uh, you know having such people in the dressing room and is there anything that you learn from senior professionals like them but well, there's always there's always something to learn i think even 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 uh, even a junior player can uh, teach you but yeah subroto bhai gurmangi bhai we we played the nehru nehru cup together and then uh, the isl was delayed the first edition so we had to find a club and uh, rangdejet was was happy to get us and though like the the team wasn't doing well but after going uh, over there we 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 brought the experience i think i brought the brought the energy as as a young striker and uh, we were we were doing really well and uh, uh, mangi bhai and uh, subroto bhai you can say that they are really professionals it, when it comes to hard work dedication because i think i've never seen uh, any goalkeeper coming before time and leaving leaving after all the players have left so i think there's there's always always to learn something from then and tomba bhai tomba bhai have played and i think that was that was the um, you know last couple of years of tomba bhai and he he has done massively amazing uh, when he was playing for junior india and everything because i think you know when when you play with tomba uh, he, he shows you you know you just have to love football you know his touches and everything it just the lab- the ball loves him and you just have to make a good run and the ball gonna uh, you have to just believe it by that tomba bhai will will put that through ball will put that you know air ball it's gonna come to you you, you just have to be there for sure for sure i'm sure there's you've benefited a lot 
there are uh, for all the young players who are watching this show you know you have lived the dream now we talk about the international dream that you have lived can you in layman's term or rather go into as much detail as you can about every part of the experience of playing for the senior national team for representing the main squad of your country well i think that's that's the you know it's a blessing to play and i think everyone who's who 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 plays football even even at the at the small level or in the gully also he wants to wear that indian t-shirt with a pride and you know of this population and of and football is growing massively and um, i don't think so like i i as i said i feel i feel really blessed to wear that jersey and with the experience i would say you just have to chase the dream i think you just have to chase your dream if if it it is there it is in you you just have to because if i see when i started playing football i never knew i'm going to make it to the indian national team but um, i kept going there was there was no doubt in that and i always believe that okay this is this is going to work this is going to work this is going to work and i never uh, i sacrificed uh, a lot and um, i think that's if if the junior players are watching that you have to sacrifice the, those phone calls like in the, uh, when i was a kid there was no phones it was just uh, you, you just have to be like you know you have if you have the phones if you have you know the dedication just learn something from it and just keep going you have to work on your craft every day you know but just the uh, even even ronaldo and messi weren't made in a uh, in a, in a year, year of couple they're just trying 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 every day and then they have achieved over that so you just you just can't you know look at the peak you just have to work on the ground level to reach the peak right that's really some golden advice there what was the nehru cup environment like though because for many uh, young footballers they'd want to know what exactly goes on when you're playing for the indian team so it could be the dressing room it could be the training it could be anything the matches whatever yeah uh, and their and their team is fun because you know when we playing uh, against each other in the clubs and we uh, i think uh, the the indian dressing room is very very chilled because that's that's like you know we know everyone who's going to do what so i think uh, uh, like playing in a, the, all the matches like if you are a player i know how what you're going to do and uh, that's that's the strength of uh, of the team like like that and uh, um like uh, i'm really i'm really happy now all the junior players all the young players are getting the chances if you see shan pandit and he he got his debut and uh, he he scored a goal i just i think uh, when when you keep playing when you when you keep uh, you know chasing that dream chasing that working on your craft and everything it's going to it's going to massively uh, help you and building something for yourself you know first you have to look at the team if um, you know the coaches will come and go you and your uh, what do you call it like in our says uh, attitude you know that's going to stay if we you know you have to work you have to work there's there's no doubt in that you have to get up at 5 am you have to get up that's there's no excuse you know remember that every every single day there's there's a guy chasing behind you you know who's going to take your place happily if you're not working for that and that's football if it's all over the world if 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 a striker is not playing the coach has to put a striker because he needs goal because the team has to win if if a defender is playing is not defending well is not working hard he has to you know there's a, there's a guy behind you chasing you are you are, do you do you have the attitude to not let him let it come you know let him come in front of you do you have the will power to just keep going no matter what this is this is some this is something really nice i mean the whole thing that there's always someone who's after your place now i think that kind of uh, killer attitude that you have that got you a three weeks training with a top norwegian club stromen stromen if now can you tell us what the experience was like in norway uh norway i think europe has a different kind of football even gurpreet was there he was he was playing for a different club but i think uh, you know the experience and the exposure if you if you see a, a club club who is in norway 
who who still fights for Europa League, Europa League, and you know. But if you see their the infrastructure is not that great, if we see, but they have regular matches, they have regular teams, they have you know um, academies who's playing each other, who playing who who are playing a lot of tournament, a lot of tournament. So. I think like uh, if uh, that day uh, someone tweeted also, you know, Salah have played something 52 matches and Sunil Chetri, who's the top striker in India and who plays all the matches, only played 22 matches. And that's a shame. It's not even half, you know, almost half you playing. But uh, I think the, the Europe and India, uh, just lack of exposure which which we're not putting there's no there's no matches there's like now this year there there will be Durant cup which isl team is will be playing there's there's no ifa shield there's no there's no matches for the players you know if you if you see a squad if you see isl it's okay for four months you know anyone anyone in the team okay can play four months but can a player can a can a whole bunch of squad can can they perform for eight months nine months because that's football that's where you with that's where every player gonna perform that's where every player's player will get a chance and you you just adding more minutes when you adding more minutes you you know getting more experience and that's 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 what Europe brings to you he at you know then I think they play three competitive matches every week. Every week, wow. and after after they played, uh, if if the team who doesn't play the, the the match, the league match, there's another day. The the next day there will be reserve team who's playing a competitive match. So you know the peak level, the experience, and everything. It's 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 really different. It doesn't take much effort to be honest. If I have a squad which played like if you see 12 or 13 players played a 90 minute match, you know, they changed and everything. But you still have 15 players who haven't played. What what are they gonna do? And suddenly if you put them in a competitive game, the players lost. Not because he's a bad player, but just because he hasn't played matches. Yes, they don't have that sharpness. But now the positive is that for the for after a long time, there's going to be a nine-month calendar now with the exactly. ISL exactly. And, I'm, the I'm and the Duran Cup. Yeah. Glad coming back, and you know what I'm talking. You know what they need matches. Nobody's going to score a hat trick sitting on the bench. Absolutely. They, Absolutely. Uh, at Air, you made that move to Air India very early and you took the, you can say you took the league by storm. I mean, you scored nine goals in 18 matches. That's nearly a goal every every other game. Now, this is for players as well as for coaches. You're playing in a very, you, uh, you, you're played in a very important position and a lot of players and coaches' jobs depend on how, how much the striker is delivering. So, in your view, what are the effective ways in which players and coaches can ensure that their strikers are at the best form and that they can, you know, get the best supply? Okay, first, like, every 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 individual is different and we're talking about myself. I, it was just, there was, there was no pressure before the game. If I just knew, you know, you just have to go and work hard for the team. You know, when uh, I I remember I was um, playing for East Bengal and we were winning, uh, I think, in a Kolkata League match where I wasn't the fa favourite when I went over there. And it was 5-0 we were winning some. Uh, we were playing, I think, Army. Army 11 in the Kolkata League and we were fa winning 5-0. And there was a counter-attack. We, we we had a corner, attacking corner. And some uh, suddenly there was a counter-attack. I ran 80 meters sprint in a Kol Kolkata Lake Stadium to just ensure that they don't score a goal. And uh, Trevor Morgan, the East Bengal coach, he was really happy and he was really proud. And... Um, that's what I. That's what I say. I think it's just just the will. You know, you don't have to. It's okay. You don't have to score every day. But are you are you giving your assist? Are you working for the team? You know, if 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 I, if I tell you something really important, if I if I'm pressing very importantly, I'm giving someone my other striker to chance to score a goal. And for the coaches, I would say, you have to believe in the striker. And they they have to work in in their craft, you know. Every every coach knows that this is my player, and he plays like that. Period. You know, you have a different style of play, and I have a different style of play. But on that match day, you know what 
a team needs from you and the coach has to uh, the, as i as i always say to the young players you know the coach is will come and go your attitude should be nice what what your coach wants from you okay he wants you to hold the ball for you because you number 9 okay i'll do that i'll work hard to hold the ball i'll go to the right position where if if my defender clears i'm going to work for that i'm not going to let defenders take the ball easily i'm not going to let full back take a breath you know there's there's so much to learn in that and coaches i think coaches uh, the job obviously if they if they keep winning the coaches have their job but uh, as a young player and all, all the coaches i would advise you know you should be you know tell the player okay you play like that we all know how how he plays and uh, obviously the coaches are smart who's come who are coming from you know different parts of the world you just have to tell the striker i think you, i okay i believe in you you just have to give me this okay it's okay and the score will come trust me on that once the coach has given him a little bit you know what what do you call it there's you don't have to add in pressure you you know you have to score the goal you score the goal score the goal no the goal is going to come you just tell him you know what you want from him that you believe in him you do, you you don't have to add pressure okay you have to score the goal everyone wants to score a goal even even a defender who who goes to the corner he wants to the score the goal too but you don't have to add the pressure you know that's a let, very simple thing but it takes a lot of because if you if you clear from here if like everyone's different i don't i don't take pressure okay i'm going to perform okay i'll i'm going to perform not you know thinking and overthinking and killing myself because we play to enjoy the beautiful game if i'm not enjoying what's why why when i'm playing absolutely absolutely 100% it's it's just strikers are an asset that are so important to a team you have yeah. played both in the i league and the isl so from a player's perspective what's the difference in playing in both leagues uh, uh, a huge difference for for the striker midfield and defender i played when i played isl there was six foreigners so that's all that i think that isl shouldn't shouldn't have done that aff should have taken a stand because in that in that period of time you know there is there's there are no good defenders if um, you know if sandesh is sandesh is injured we don't have any stopper backs you know that's that's a shame if uh, you take out some real good midfield player did i lose you hello Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, and uh, if you see, if you talk about number nine, there's there's no number nine because they're not playing. So, what ISL teams were doing because of the six foreigners, they're gonna put, they were putting two stopper backs, two midfield, and two striker. You know, the strength in the middle, and all the strikers who were really really good and who were really should have been the number nine for Team India. they had to go out because they want to play you know they have to play so they 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 became wingers they have some of the uh, like all the all the full backs we have lot many full backs now because they are playing regularly i still took that away and um, i league i league was full foreigners we all the like you know that time i would say we like we as a striker had so many so many competition between us there was there was robin singh there was jj there was there was sabith you know and when there's con- competition you know b- because we are playing regular match uh, regular matches every week or even twice a week we we were over there and india team and before us before i was i would say there was sushil kumar there was bajing bhutia there was sunil chetri there was abhishek yadav you know these four were there and they were playing for the club so now if you see if we if we take sunil bhai if he is injured god grace he shouldn't be injured no one should be injured but do we have any striker manveer singh is playing on the right flank and listen playing on the left flank but do we have a proper number 9 which india needs to hold the ball for them you know keep the let the defenders need some rest we don't have anyone because no one has played regularly 
Right. So I think that's where you have already actually answered what what's required as a change in Indian football. Yeah. I, you know, we have spoken about your achievements. I and I'll keep saying the dream career that you have had. Be it playing for the nation or be it playing in Calcutta, be it playing I League and ISL. Now, when everything was going your way, why did you suddenly, at such a young age, decide to quit football and get into uh, into becoming a fitness enthusiast and a model and an actor. <laughs> Why well, didn't I didn't plan this? I, uh, you know, my colleagues are still playing. I uh, really miss playing, and I think people don't know that. And some of the people know. I in 2013, I I had a surgery of ankle and hernia, and after that, till in then in 2014, I had two another surgeries, and 2015, I had a back surgery which they took my desk out so so in like less uh, like you can say like in um, 18 months i went through five surgeries regularly and between that i played for um, rangdejet i recovered from the from the injury and I played for then i played for delhi dynamos and then i played for kerala blasters also but i don't think so um, you know no one no one knows that but i i didn't want to switch this career because I loved it, it was really going well. But my like my body, I my body couldn't take any any more. I was it was really painful. And after that also, so my last surgery of the back was in 2015. After that also, you know, I tried playing for the at the top level for three years. I played for Minerva. I played for Mohun Bagan, but it wasn't the same. You know, and some of the days I couldn't even go to the use go to use the washroom. So that was that was taking a lot on my body. So I had to I had to you know it was it was it was really really hard decision. And uh, I thank thank God I had to take the will, but I had to and it, it was my body. But I think uh, that and I switched the career and. Uh, but I took I took it uh, as as a blessing I would say because everything if you if you see there's there's two ways you have either you just get sorrow oh my God I had so much beautiful so beautiful career and this happened to me no it's okay it's happened you can't change that you what you can change is what's coming for you and there's there's a movie coming Bollywood movie coming on football in uh, which is which is a biopic of uh, Coach Rahim Abdul Rahim. And which which uh, Ajay Devgan is playing that role, and I'm a player in that, and we worked in that, <laughs> and I think people should know that we had a golden era of Indian football, where we the top in Asia, we went to the Olympics, we, you know, we won the Asian Games, and that's all, and we we played really beautifully. So I think, uh, you know, as as I always say, God gave His hardest. Hardest battles to the strongest soldiers. So I had a different team where we like there were there were there were there were no players. They were just actors, but trust me on that, they worked so hard. And I I I think uh, you know I was placed somewhere to put a team where where you have to show the so I was away from football, uh, but I wasn't away from football. You know what I'm saying. Absolutely. I mean, if one if one can probably think about what if because you're still young and you are at the top of your game, you probably would have still been in the national team today. But nevertheless, the mentality was strong and I'm sure you're doing very well in, in what you're doing. Now, there's another person who's very similar to you in terms of a short period, big success, and that is the owner of one of your previous clubs, Mr. Ranjit Bajaj. Uh -huh. uh, similar to you, I think in, in a very sh short span, he won an I-League. He's constantly nurturing players for the national team. So, what's the secret to his success? Well, I was I was in Salgaonkar when he was playing the second division and Tempo won the second division and Tempo decided not to come. And uh, then I was in Chandigarh and he texted me, you know, we were in the I-League and... Would you would you like be the like to be the captain? So I was like, yeah, I was, I was I was really happy to come for a you know playing for a Punjab team, and I think his uh, success in that short uh, time is just his consistency. If you if you see, he's he's working really hard every day. You know, he's bringing players. He, he's like you know taking care almost I think five hundred to six hundred young players. 
and he you know he's helping indian football a lot and that was his success because he nurtured the kids yes the, the first year wasn't that great but yeah he got some experience you know in that time and then he decided to win the i league with the, with the with the short amount of uh, or maybe maybe spending less money and getting the right players so he learned that one year the next year he he had a boom and he won the i league uh, that was that was but he but his main i think it's consistency he works every single day you know he's been added to all the groups of of his club he's he's added to under 14 he's under 16 under 17 the senior team he's added he uh, reads all the messages he knows all the players and uh, it's it's really hard to know all the 500 players he he even knows so i keep meeting him i keep going to him and you know and he even knows like your under 17 like the under 17 team he knows all the names of the under 17 uh, under 7 boys i'm sorry for that under 7 boys so i think that's his short success his his consistency he's definitely an inspiration to every club owner uh, i think we have had a fantastic discussion and this brings me to the last question because there will be a lot of strikers around young strikers who would would want to even achieve 50% of what you have achieved so in one or two sentences if you had to give them career advice what would it be like if you if you really pl- want to play football just just go for it you know you shouldn't be this they, sh- they shouldn't be any plan b ke ye na hua to ye ho jayega ye na hua to ye ho jayega that doesn't happen like that you know a short advice i would give you if you're a striker if you play any position you know what you're good at because i know what i could at you know play with your strengths work on your weaknesses and just keep going that that uh, that dream club that dream you know jersey number that dream uh, indian jersey is just next door to you just have your faith keep working hard because you know you can't be there you know keep having you should have a faith and will and you know work hard and then suddenly just switch it nahi main aaj ye karunga no it doesn't happen like that because if you're working hard someone will give you the credit i think so you just have to be there in the queue you know just keep working hard that's all you know it's it's not hard but it's not easy either it's it's it, it's on you how you how you take it are you willing to go that extra 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 mile every day extra effort every day you know like cristiano ronaldo doesn't uh, didn't you know it wasn't a fluke he started um, putting the free kicks inside he works every day on the free kicks for two hours you know that's that's some that's some great advice and uh, this is this was all we have for all the viewers on youtube for all the listeners on spotify this was manandeep singh for you who was a top striker who was at the pinnacle of of uh, indian football who unfortunately had a had multiple surgeries and is now still uh, enjoying success in well, in the other field which is his fitness and his acting and his um, and his modeling and uh, we look forward to seeing the watching the movie maidan and watching manandeep singh thank you for uh, for accepting the to be a part especially on a sunday when it's family time and i am going to give i am going to transfer it over to the, to to the um, to arches for for the final few words thank uh, you i'll be talking to you thank you so much for giving us your valuable time it was really wonderful listening to your journey how you progressed all the way from junior india camps all the way to the senior national team it was really great and definitely an inspiration for all the young players on how just pure grit can get you to the top of the ladder thank you so much thank you rajesh have a wonderful evening bye bye you too bye bye take care thank you bye 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 ran